Come on, wake up. Wake up. Welcome to Trivia Night, my way of testing society's refuse to make sure only the worthy survive. But in a down-to-earth, just-us-girls kind of way, you know? I'm going to ask you a bunch of trivia questions. If you get a question wrong, you have to fight for your life in one of my super fun mini-games. If you do badly in the mini-game, I'll kill you. But don't worry, ghosts can still win the game. When one player is left alive, we'll go to the final round where the living and dead compete to see who can escape first. Don't forget, you can still join the audience at any time. Am I talking too much? I always overshare on a first kidnapping. Let's start the game. Here's the first question. Please, no snickering. Let's be adults here. The sack butt, don't laugh, is the medieval version of which modern day instrument? Use your device to answer the question. And the correct answer is... Who got it right? The rest of you, let's go someplace fun. Welcome to the killing floor. It's time for some finger cutting. No one has to die in this one. Unless you refuse to participate, just choose one of your fingers to cut off. Could it be any easier? Chop. Drop. Cut him off with a big old chop. Ah! Remember, the donation of your finger is tax deductible. Here's how everyone's doing so far. It's real early though, so don't freak out. I've got more questions for you. How do you spell that song from Mary Poppins? One. The rest of you, you're in for a treat. Hey girl, welcome back to the killing floor. Now it's time to flex your creative muscles. I want to see some masterpieces from you piggies. What I want. Draw this thing as best as you can and press send when you're finished. Everyone gets to vote. I want you to pick the worst drawing. Pick the drawing that makes you go, ah, uh, no thank you. Pick a drawing already. Ooh, the votes are in. It's never really easy to put yourself out there like you did, but oh well. There's no hard way to say it. I killed you and now you're a ghost. But don't go into the light just yet. Ghosts can still win. Never underestimate a ghost, son. And here's your scores, my little dumplings. Alright, next question. What is the title of Amy Poehler's memoir? Who picked this? Which 
needs only you. I have a surprise for you. Let's see if you can string some letters together. Use letters to spell the longest word you can before time runs out. It'll be good to get your fingerprints on some of these letters, too. Oh, and all these other players get to play along, too. And if any of them spell a longer word than you, you will be punished. Word time, go! The letters don't have to touch each other, and remember to press submit when you're done. You're almost out of time! Ooh, let's see what you did there. Let's see if anyone beat you. Uh-oh, someone did better than you. You think you know who your friends are, and then they viciously attack you in a trivia game. Same old story. Let's try another one. What horrible monster is Robert England famous for playing? Play a game. Do your stretches, mathletes. Answer as many math questions as you can before time runs out. All the other players will be playing along too. And if any of them do better than you, it'll be bad. Let's get this math party started. Four, six, three, ten, ninety-three, nine. <laughs> Isn't that so annoying? Your time is subtracting at an alarming rate. If it makes you feel better, I never expected you to win. <laughs> to be fair, predators are supposed to attack the weakest link. Oh good, we're just down to one. Well look who's still alive. Now you just have to escape with your body. I'm going to give you a category. Houses in Game of Thrones. Tap on each answer. Let's see the right answers. You move forward one space for every correct answer. You're getting real close to the exit. Oh, did I mention that all the other ghosts get to play too? If a ghost catches up to you, then they will steal your body. Then they can escape and win the game. Here's everyone's next question. And ghosts get a third choice to help them catch up to you. Woodstock. Time is almost up. Are you afraid of the dark? You should be. Decisions, decisions. The ghosts are getting close now. Ask 
Australian cities. Anytime today, kiddo. Here comes the next question. Masters Tournament winners. Time is almost up. Welcome to Fakin' It. I'm Cookie, and I'm here to ask the weird questions that no one else is especially compelled to ask. Couple quick words before we jump into the game. And it is skippable because I'm not a monster. ...and a task to your device. Like, raise your hand if you've ever farted. But one of you will get nothing. And that person is the faker. Everyone wants to figure out who the faker is, and the faker just wants to blend in. When you hear the ghost sound, you either raise your hand or not, depending on whether you've ever farted before, which you have. And the faker just has to fake it. After that, everyone votes on their device who they think the faker is. If everyone picks the correct person, the faker is caught. But here's the most important part. Fakers, if you're caught in a lie, if you raise your hand when you really should have kept it down, lie, cheat, deny, come up with whatever story you have to to throw other players off the scent. Be the faker. Some of the tasks will involve raising your hand, or pointing, or maybe making a weird face. But there will always be a faker, and you'll have three chances to catch him. Oh, one more quick suggestion before we get going. It's important to be able to see each other, so if possible, consider sitting in a semicircle or like small lines facing each other. Whatever works best while still feeling comfortable. Let's start with Hands of Truth. It's an easy one, just like we saw a minute ago. Everyone's 
going to get a task that involves raising your hand. Okay, sending the task to your devices now. This was the task. Raise your hand if you like to sing. Vote for who you suspect is the faker. You can change your vote if you change your mind, by the way. The faker can only be caught if the vote is unanimous. So do your best to come to a group consensus. You get two more chances to catch that faker. <laughs> Sending your second Hands of Truth task to your devices now. And the task was, raise your hand if you've seen any of the Chipmunk movies. Vote for who you think seems like the faker. That faker is still on the loose. One last chance to catch the faker. <laughs> Sending out your third hands of truth task now. the task was, raise your hand if you can explain the infield fly rule. Vote for the faker now. You couldn't even bother to try to pick the same person on the final task, huh? You pretty much just let the faker have it. Alright, what category do we want to do next? 
Use your device to choose which type of tasks you'll all be subjected to. If you want to pick a cat. Schmitty's my name, Whiplash is my game, and it's your game, assuming you pay for it. <laughs> Guys, don't feel like you have to be extra funny to impress me. My expectations are already very low. Here's round one. You'll get two prompts on your device. Just answer them however you want. Your responses, or quips, will be pitted against someone else's, and everyone will vote on their favorite. The more folks who choose your answer, the more points you get. Go! Great, let's see what we got here. Starting things off, what keeps Adam Sandler making movies? Okay, pick your favorite and vote. Next up, the next big reality show, America's Got Blank. Get to voting. Moving on, the one thing Spider-Man's Spider-Sense never warns him about. And vote. Next one, the worst time to hear a camera go off. Vote on your devices.
Round one's over. Let's check the scoreboard. <laughs> Round two is pulling into the station with double the points and bonuses. Running out. Use a safety clip if you need it. Let's see how you did. Up first, the brand name of a really rough toilet paper. Okay, everyone, vote for your favorite. Next in line, the name of a support group for men who can't grow beards. Okay, vote. Coming up next, the most inappropriate place to have a mechanical bowl. Time to vote. Your next prompt is a creature you should never find on a carousel. Float away. We've reached the end of round two. Let's see what happened. <laughs> this is round three, the last lash. One final chance to catch up and everyone gets the same prompt this time. Here is your word lash task.
Let's see what you've wrought. In the final round, you can give out one gold and one silver medal to your top two quips. Make them count. Okay, who's taking home some medals? Bring out the silver. And finally, gold. Great, let me just turn those medals into points for you. That's all. Now for the final scores. Welcome, I'm your host, Schmitty, and this is Quiplash. I'm just going to assume you're all wearing your quipping pants. Okay, let's play. This is round one. You'll score points based on the percentage of people who prefer your answer. Have at it. Cards on the table. Prompt number one is a procedure that not even the slimiest plastic surgeon will do. Okay, pick your favorite quip now. Next in the hopper, the perfect man is tall, dark, and blank. It's voting time! on deck, what they could call solitary confinement so it doesn't sound so bad. Put in your votes. title for a rap song. Vote now. Round 
one is in the books. Let's see the scores. Round two time, and to make it interesting, I'm doubling all the point values. You heard me. Time to share. The first prompt is a horrifying story for kids. Well, your dad and I met when we were both blank. Okay, choose your favorite. Next on the list, a new children's classic, The Velveteen Blank. Ready, set, vote! Okay, next one. The one thing toll booth operators say every day. And vote. Up next, a secret image hidden on the one dollar bill. Get to voting! You survived round two. Let's see if your scores did. <laughs> it's round three, the last lash. I've got one prompt left, and you're all getting it. Complete the comic. Nice, let's see who snagged the medals. Here's the silver and gold. Let's see what the medals to points exchange rate is these days.
Okay, let's see those final scores. Hello? Hey Dave, it's Brian. I'm at home sick today. Could you log on to my terminal real quick? Sure thing. What's your password? Brian. Your name is your password? Well, yeah, but it's spelled B-R-I-O-N. <laughs> Are you serious? That can be hacked in 11 nanoseconds. Uppercase N, and then lowercase E, smiley face, frowny face, laughing out loud face, and register trademark sign. That'll work. Here I go, mopping the floors. <laughs> Pardon me, fellas. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that janitor's a spy. Could be German. No, I think it's just for his own personal enjoyment. And here I come again. Mopping, mopping, mopping. Scooty up. What's with the new vending machines? There's like 18 buttons to press for a soda. Oh, right. The soda's encrypted now. What? If forced to choose, what percentage of people would prefer office chairs with reclining seatbacks over those with wheels? Think carefully. You want to be as close as possible to the actual percentage to get the most points. Have an answer 40% everyone else now it's your turn do you think the correct answer is higher or lower what do you think higher one of you thinks it's higher now let's get to the right answer 48%! Either way, we're talking about lazy people. Who picked higher? Here's some points! Okay, who's up next? Be leaving. Ooh, the president asked us to look this up yesterday.
What percentage of people belong or have belonged to fraternities or sororities? Seven percent. Okay, higher or lower? Ooh. Running out of time. Most people said lower, and Surveil says. You weren't within 30%, so no points for you. Let's see who got it right. Well done, you get points. Who's next? I hear you. Let's see, what would be good? How about this? What percentage of people admit feeling obligated to like friends' Facebook posts? Okay, higher or lower? Ooh. Believe it. Everyone thinks it's higher. Okay, let's see the right answer. 62%! At least we don't have to praise people face to face. Glad those days are gone. Who got it right? Nice job, I've got some points for you. Next up. Ooh. Oh, here's one we've been especially interested in. Don't ask why. What percentage of people have performed the whip and or nay nay dance routine? Fifteen percent. Everyone else, higher or lower? Believe it. Everyone says higher except for one of you. And the correct answer is... Twenty percent! Ooh, just a few percentage points off. Well done. Let's see who got it right. Here's some points. Okay, who's up next? Foolish rules. Typey, typey. What percentage of people immediately hang the Do Not Disturb sign after accessing their hotel rooms, even if it's not bedtime? 50%. All right, what do you think? Ooh, I hear you. Believe it. The vote is lower. And Surveil says... 44%! Of course, we interpret those signs to mean there's reasonable suspicion to justify bugging the light fixtures. Who got it right? Ooh, points for you! See where things stand after round one. Believe it. I knew you. Round two, here we come. Okay, who's first? I'll bet our database has some juicy data for this. What percentage of people have gone bowling alone? Okay, we have a guess. 
16%. In round two, you can double down if you think the guess is off by 15% or more. Just pick much higher or much lower. If you're correct, you're mama's little angel. You get double the points. Time's running out. High <laughs> Looks like an even split. And the correct answer is... 17%. 1% off. Are you cheating? Let's see who got it right. Well done. You get points. Who's next? Believe it. All right, buckle in. I've got one for you. What percentage of people have been on segways? Twenty three percent. What do you all think? Higher or lower? Okay, right answer is... 14%! Most common reaction from pedestrians, Look at that dork! I wanna try that! Who got it right? Nice job! I've got some points for you! Next up! I hear you! What should I search for in the old Surveillance Pro next? Ooh, I know. When at a concert, what percentage of people sing along to the song parts they know and fake sing along with the rest? Everyone else, higher or lower? Believe it. Unanimously higher. Okay, let's see the right answer. 41%! Believe me, the American spy community takes fake singing very seriously. Everyone was wrong. Okay, who's up next? Ooh, Ooh this is going to be good. What percentage of people try to avoid direct skin contact when they reach for public doorknobs? Thirty-nine percent. Everyone pick higher or lower. Believe it. I hear you. It's unanimous again, and Surveil says twenty-six percent. If you're gonna get sick, you're gonna get sick. I just open doors with my mouth and cut out the middleman. Let's see who got it right. Smart, yes. Here's your points. As for you, ah, that's too bad. Double downs only count if the answer is off by 15% or more. Next up. All right, I have a good one. What percentage of people have split logs into firewood with axes? 71% What do y'all think? Higher or lower? I hear you. Believe it. 
And the correct answer is... 44%! Once we perfect the hidden axe handle camera, we should have more complete data on this one. Who got it right? Ooh, points for you! And what have we here? Well done! Double points for saying much lower! Uh-oh, final round time! We let the computer scour petabytes of data to find the most popular answers to this question! What's the tastiest flavor of Doritos? Here are the most popular answers. You get three guesses. Try to pick the most popular answers to get the most points. Ready, go! Don't forget, you can pick three answers. Alright, let's see what everyone picked! And what are the most popular answers? Who's that special someone? Congratulations! You've won a game that should probably be illegal. I'm so proud of you. Welcome to TKO. I am the Tournament Master. You may recognize my voice from the depths of your most enigmatic dreams. And I also did an iced tea commercial. I brought you all here to T-Shirt Island because I sense in you a great power. And because I bought some furniture on the internet and it takes at least two people to put it together, please. Your winding path to victory starts here, at the training grounds. You will use your device to draw three drawings. Draw whatever your heart desires, like literally anything it doesn't matter. But if you need an idea, hit the suggestion button. Begin your... Oh. 
Welcome to TKO. I am the Tournament Master. The jealousy you're experiencing is perfectly normal. Thank you all for joining me here on T-Shirt Island. Those of you who live will receive a free flight home. Drawing fingers ready and... Begin! But let's see a little variety this time. You can change your line thickness with that little button here. Begin drawing two. Time is about to expire, you may want to finish up. Good, good, yes, one more drawer. Use that negative space. Begin. You'd rather get to the action faster, next time try the quick training mode in the game settings. before time runs out. Hmm, 
yes, I think we can work with these. Next, we'll need some hot new slogans. Oh, that's your job. Go! Keep those slogans coming! Excellent. Time for action. Let the tournament begin. Gauntlet 1 Versus Fight. Fight by submitting your votes on your devices, that is. A new challenger appears. Versus Engage one another in violence Winners! Time for a training break. Use your devices to enter one new drawing and as many new slogans as you wish. Really put your back into it. Go!
time is about to expire, you may want to finish up. Write something. Before time runs out! Do what feels right! about that, hmm? Well, we'll see. Got the two. Versus. I want you to fight. Challenger appears. Fight. A new challenger appears. Fight! A new challenger appears. Attack! Brace yourselves for the final gauntlet where the toughest shirts from the previous rounds go toe to toe. Prepare to vote. Versus Attack! Me, baby, spike. <laughs> we have 
become a champion. I think we have the centerpiece for my full line. Welcome to TKO. I am the Tournament Master, and I'm currently accepting applications for a morally corruptible henchman. Three years experience preferred. I have lured you all here to T-Shirt Island to take part in a T-Shirt battle to the dead. Also, the Fire Spirits are having this party later. Everyone's bringing a date, so I thought one of you... Uh, forget it, I'm kidding. Let's just do the tournament. Ready to draw? Begin! Short, hurry up and finish already! Excellent. This time, show me something different. Remember to use the suggestion button if you need an idea. Drawing to begin! Make haste before time runs out! Go! 
gorgeous. One more to go. Wow, my babies. Begin. Time is about to expire, you may want to finish up. I love to watch true masters at work. And now, we ride. Keep writing right like the wind. That time is not for decoration. Finish quickly! Oh yes, this is gonna be good. Alright, make your shirts now. Oh my yes! The battlefield calls! Let the tournament begin! Gauntlet 1 Versus Fight! And by fight, I mean empty your boats and your devices. Versus Fight each other
A new challenger appears. Battle. A new challenger appears. Attack! The tie goes to the defender. Winners! I think we could all use a training break. Use your devices to enter one new drawing and as many new slogans as you wish. Think outside the box. Go! Before time runs out. Make some words. Time is not for decoration. Finish quickly. You know what to do. Make a shirt. already
Gauntlet 2. Versus. Engage in an altercation. Challenger appears. Fight. Challenger appears. Attack! Says, Go ahead and fight already. Winners! We are poised to enter the final gauntlet. Only the greatest t-shirts from the previous rounds are eligible. Prepare to vote one last time. Versus... Fight! So soon. Well, personally, I like this one. Versus. Looks like everything worked out, but there's one question left unsolved. Who was running the tournament? Oh wait, no, it was me. Never mind. <laughs>